we're offering four sessions, uh, two in January, two in February. One week will be all Microsoft Suite, and then the next week will be Google Workspace. Please welcome, from Career Launch at Perkins, Program Director Alicia Smith and Training and Program Specialist Brian Switzer helping people really get into the workforce because we are trying to address that huge systemic unemployment gap as a critical part of what we do. You either be on a PC or a Mac. Offering tech boot camps on the Microsoft Suite and Google Workspace. And they're able to be in jobs that they enjoy and are fulfilled by and can work there for as long as they want to. And now, without further ado, here's the team from Career Launch at Perkins. We hope you enjoy. One of the skills that a lot of them tended to struggle a lot with was around technology. Welcome to Blind Abilities. I'm Jeff Thompson. When it comes to job training and career services for blind adults, nobody does it better than Career Launch at Perkins. And with me in the studio today, we have Program Director Alicia Smith. Alicia, how are you doing? I'm great, Jeff. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for being here. And also joining us is training and program specialist, Brian Switzer. Welcome, Brian. Thank you for having us, Jeff. When I saw these week-long boot camps, I like that, boot camps, these tech boot camps where people can come and learn Google Workspace and Microsoft Suites. Can you tell us about that? Yes, of course. So we're offering four sessions, uh, two in January, two in February. One week will be all Microsoft Suite, and then the next week will be Google Workspace. And we'll dive deep into both the essential productivity software tools. And so we'll explore the ins and out of each one. For Microsoft, it'll be things like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive. And for the Google Workspace, it's going to be similar, but Google's offering of the similar software program. So things like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive, and so on. We'll deep dive into them. And they're really for anyone 18 and older, either in high school or have a high school diploma already, and who are blind and visually impaired and wanting to improve their skills. They run the week of January 23rd will be the Microsoft. The week of January 30th will be Google. And then in February, Microsoft will come back around for February 13th and then Google for February 20th. One thing to keep in mind is that if you've already taken one Microsoft session, you do not have to take the net Microsoft session. It will be a rerun, if you will. But you are welcome to take both Microsoft and Google and really hone up on your skills. Approach is really the that when you're in college or you're in the workplace, you're going to be using a lot of the tools. So it's really essential that you know both products really well. Yeah, I don't know of any other suites that they have out there between Microsoft and Google. I know I know Google over the last couple of years, few years has really grown and more and more businesses and corporations are using them. Yeah, of course. Here at Perkins, we use Google all the time for our internal working. And so it's not surprising that a lot of workplaces are using it. The tools are free for a lot of places or comparable to Microsoft. And they're really effective and efficient tools for the everyday workplace. Now, someone that's interested in these programs, do they have to be on a PC or a Mac, either or, or one or the other? Great question. You either be on a PC or a Mac. Uh, we do discourage people from using their cell phones just because in a typical workplace, they really start to use a computer for your day-to-day working. And the skill of a cell phone, as you know from a lot of us, you think like voiceover with the finger flip. And unfortunately, that doesn't carry over very well to using a PC or a Mac. So we do threat that when you're in the type boot camp that you're using the PC or the Mac, either one, but that you're on a laptop computer and have a good uh, Wi-Fi connection. That'd be super helpful for the live lesson. You can be anywhere in the country. It is remote, but we do have two back-to-back live lessons with a break in between. And if you are enrolled in the Microsoft Tech Bootcamp, we do ask that you have a copy of the Microsoft Suite. Ah, and they can get that right off their computer app store and download it and there they go. 
Exactly. And oftentimes, if you connect it to a VRC, they might be able to support you with that as well. Now, someone that is involved with their vocational rehab, they can suggest this to the counselor and give them the information to it. It might be something that might work for their career goal. Exactly. We are career launch, we're career focus. And so, yeah, definitely bring up to your VRC, see if they might be willing to help. The cost of the program, very affordable, though. It designed to be something if someone decides not to be connected to their VRC. See, they can pay out of pocket as well. Yeah, that's really great because I know most people, I think, are familiar with Microsoft Word. It's Google that has now come upon us as being used more and more in the workplace. You want to have these tools available to you when you do look into the job market. You want to have that skill set. I notice on your website, it says tech skills are essential. And I said to myself, yes, they are. I totally agree. I'm a big believer in technology and knowing your software programmed and being able to use them effectively. Similar to you, we're both very competent in our jobs and working and critical to that is our ability to use technology. Mm -hmm. Now, when people come into this boot camp program put on by Perkins, they may think that they know a lot or they may not know much about it. And that's why they're looking into it. But you do an assessment before they start the program and then you do one after that. What have you found that these assessments show? That's a wonderful question. We've really found that a lot of people tend to overestimate their skills. Occasionally, we'll have one or two people that underestimate their skills and think that they are not very good with technology and turn out to be wonderful. But more often than not, people tend to overestimate their technology skills and they have things to work on and improve by doing a pre and post assessment. We kind of measure that growth and see exactly what they've learned and how they've grown in their skills. What made you decide to develop this program? I know myself, I understand why it's so important, but who is the targeted person and what went into developing this? I think as we observed our own trainees in the full career on program, one of the skills that a lot of them tended to struggle a lot with was around technology. They came in and found that their technology skills might not be up to par with their able-bodied peers in the workplace. And so we really want to make sure that we're building them up in a lot of their skills, whether it's customer support or business fundamentals, but as well as technology. And so through our full program, we found that a lot of people were coming in struggling with technology skills. We figured why not offer a tech boot camp, a one-off, and even if they're not interested in our full program, they're just a college student or someone looking to find for jobs and looking to work in the workplace, they could always improve on their technology skills. And so we decided to offer it as a standalone program. I like that because I remember looking into the job market, having that skill set, especially, I think that's a base thing, having Word or Google on in your toolbox is something that really is foundational. It starts there. Everything else, when you start going into their database and stuff is elsewhere. But having that skill set, getting prepared for the job market is something that you guys are doing really good. And you mentioned the full program, career launch. Can you tell us more about the entire program? Uh, Sure. I think this is where I'll jump in. Um, It's Alicia. Yes. So career launch was really kicked off back in 2019. We are in our fourth year of operation, and we developed a job training and career services program. And we're currently running a class now that we will continue to support for the next year. As we're about to wrap up training with them, they'll enter their job search with our support and making sure that they land and settle into their jobs really well. And currently, we are looking to really evolve our program offerings to better meet the needs of the community of people who are not in the workforce and want to get in. That really is our target audience here and and people who we think we have expertise to help. We likely, you know, will be what Brian has referred to as kind of the core program. We're going to be making some evolution and some changes to that to just better equip people for work. Right now, the boot camp is our most up-to-date offering. And I would definitely encourage people, if any of this sounds interesting, to please sign up for our email contact list on the Perkins website and just follow on social media, that type of thing, because we will have some, you know, some more exciting announcements and offerings in the future. 
When I dug in and was reading about Career Launch, what really got me interested is there's so many facets to the Career Launch. How long a program is this? The current program is two months of intensive job training, followed by a year of career service support. That's nice. Yeah, we really believe in not only equipping people with the skills from tech, to business fundamentals, to any type of transferable skill, making sure they are prepared and ready to get into work. But also for us, we really want to see them actually land that job and succeed and be off and accomplishing their professional and also often personal goals as well. So that career services piece has been a really important part of our offering. And as I said, you know, we are looking to evolve services. So things may look different in the future, but we're very confident that we'll still be able to deliver on our mission, helping people really get into the workforce, because we are trying to address that huge systemic unemployment gap as a critical part of what we do. So you're working with employers as well. Yes, we have a network of employers who we work with regularly, and sometimes we're able to match people to relevant jobs within those organizations. That happens just a little bit more than half of the time for our participants. And then other times we just may not have an employer who is a match for what that particular job seeker is looking for, or they may want to kind of go their own way with our support. So we also support people in the program to go out and develop their own roles, or maybe they have a family connection or somebody who they know, and they want to get into a different line of work. And we're absolutely still there along their side, making sure that they have interview practice, that they understand how to request accommodations. We're more than happy to meet with managers and high level employees at the company just to make sure they understand what accessibility means and really making sure that our people settle in and, and, and are able to be in jobs that they enjoy and are fulfilled by and can work there for as long as they want to. Now, that's really good that you have that support for them to work with the employer as well. And people who are attending, they can learn more about these job tracks that are available. And yet these skills are also transferable if they want to go elsewhere as well. That's really good. Yeah. Absolutely. I like that you go into the job interview facet of it and all the things that they will encounter as they head off into the job market. Yeah, we really try to cover kind of soup to nuts, as they say, and uh, make sure that, that people have a full understanding of skills it takes to enter, you know, those hard technical skills like the tech stuff and business acumen and understanding the basics of communication skills and problem solving and all those types of things that are going to work in many, many different types of jobs, as well as the things that are really unique to our community, you know, understanding accommodations and rights under the ADA and those kinds of ins and outs that oftentimes people who they haven't experienced it yet, they haven't been able to land that job. It's just lack of exposure and I hope to just help people feel more comfortable and understanding where they stand. Well, it's great that you bring in awareness, especially to the employers too, opening up the doors for people because it is quite a hurdle for people to think about walking into a job interview. That's that's a huge one, especially with the white yeah. elephant of your disability. But I'm sure surrounding themselves with people that they're meeting through this course and building the confidence to go about it. And if they they fail a little bit or if they mm -hmm. struggle a little bit, they have that support with them as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's career launch at Perkins. This was great. When I first saw the article come out, I thought, wow, Google Workspace, because that's one area, especially on the Mac, it's a little tricky, but I'm glad you guys are offering both the PC and the Mac. I favor the PC for business stuff, how it's more universal, but I see that the Mac is starting to get some traction a little bit in the corporate world. Yeah, I totally agree. I'd say overwhelmingly workplace still are using the PC just because a lot of the software programs are a little more flexible and how it meshes with the PC. With that being said, we've had training come through our program and land rolled where they're actually using the Mac in the workplace. They are few, but they are definitely out there. And you guys are offering it for both. Great job. Well, Alicia and Brian, thank you so much for bringing this news to everybody about Career Launch at Perkins. And we're going to put links in the show notes where people can click on and find out more information. And a great job what you guys are doing out there at Perkins. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Be sure to contact your state services for the blind, your voc rehab, and find out what they can do for you. Live, work, read, succeed. For more podcasts with the blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com, on Twitter at blindabilities, and download the free Blind Abilities app from the App Store and Google Play Store. That's two words, blind abilities. And if you want to leave some feedback, give us some suggestions, give us a call at 612-367-6090. 
1-800-273-8893. We'd love to hear from you. A big shout out to Chi Chow for his beautiful music. You can follow Chi Chow on Twitter at El Chi Chow. Chi Chow. I want to thank you for listening. And until next time, bye bye. When we share what we see through each other's, each other's eyes, eyes, we can then, we can then begin, begin to bridge, bridge the, the gap between, between the limited, limited expectations and, and the realities of blind abilities. And the realities of blind abilities. Of blind abilities. Of blind abilities.